What is up, YouTube? Welcome to Teaching Trends. My name is Carla, and today we're going to be talking about apprenticeships that I know a lot of you here on YouTube and those of you who are creators will definitely be interested in. Before I get into that, welcome everybody to my channel. My name is Carla, where I create videos all about jobs, opportunities, where you may need a degree, not need a degree, in the remote career area, as well as hybrid, face-to-face. -face. I used to primarily focus on healthcare and jobs that are remote. I am expanding that into apprenticeships, jobs where you can learn, or you can earn a income, as well as increase your skills. Welcome back, everybody who is joining me again. And for those of you who are new, welcome, and thank you for joining me here at Teaching Trends. I'm going to get right into it today. We are talking about Arts to Work. Arts to Work is an amazing program that literally is an apprenticeship. So they're going to pay you. You're going to be a mentor. This opportunity is available in multiple states in the United States, not every state yet. But if you hang in there with me for this video, I'm going to tell you about other places that will also pay you to create content. Now you might be thinking to yourself, hey, I am not that great at content creation. I'm just getting started or I could learn more. This is the opportunity where you could grow your skills, help other organizations and land yourself into content creation professionally by using your channel. So what is art to work? So they're looking for you. They're looking for culturally diverse artists, that are ready to step into their future. Veterans that are seeking a fresh start in a creative field online, media makers with disabilities who know their place in every place. So there is a huge place. They want to hear everyone's voices in content creation because it is important. Women re-entering the creative workplace with life experience and, tell and stories to tell low-income, or high-potential college grads who need industry experience and mentorship. So whether you're in high school or you have a degree or you don't and you're looking for a mentorship and apprenticeship, they're looking for high school graduates, GED, you may have workplace skills, you may have big dreams, and you have a little experience in maybe producing or editing your own videos for social media. So what is this particular apprenticeship at arts to work arts to work apprenticeship produces and edits all kinds of media in all types of screens and all kinds of workplaces. So it is entry level. So you are hired as a multimedia producer or a digital video editor. So in order to be eligible, you only need a high school diploma, GED, and some basic Tory Stelling, Tory storytelling, if I could talk today, I'm so excited, storytelling and production skills, digital technology skills. You're going to begin by filling out an application, and then once you're accepted, your starting wage will be anywhere between $15 and $20 an hour. So you're going to have one year for this program. It is an nice part-time salary where you can actually work this type of mentorship. You could still have your creative endeavors and channel and kind of do both. You could really increase your skills for your YouTube channel. You could also, you know, do what's great for you. You have 150 hours of additional classroom time. You are learning. So you're earning money while you're learning more about content creation. After your apprenticeship, you become an alumni of Arts to Work, where you can network with people, have workshops, they have job placement, and there's even funding for your own personal projects. So this could be the perfect opportunity for people who already have their channel, who already story tell, and you're looking to break into other industries and make other creators while making money. So if you're not ready yet to become an apprentice, but you want to learn all about it, you can click and learn about it. And they have some pre-apprenticeship things that you could do. They have a pre-apprenticeship program in, in lots of different cities. So I'm going to click on this right here. And you can get started with the pre-apprenticeship. There's training. There's registered apprenticeship. There's career-aligned learning. There's so many different things that you could do 
maybe you're not ready to make the money part-time and commit to a full year, but there are other opportunities that you could get into with this amazing, amazing organization. So I'm just going to click on some of the states so you know where this particular apprenticeship program is available. If you were to go on and click on the apply, they have some questions here that you would have to answer. Um, when, when you finish, if you're in a project, if you're into filmmaking, designing, editing, or journalism, if you're into any of these other areas, what is your income now? So they do ask a couple of questions to kind of place you in different areas. So some information there that they're going to be asking you. And if I were to click some of the states, they clearly have all of the states listed here where you can apply to pre-apprenticeship programs in um, every state because they may be they may have some pre-apprenticeship programs that you can do in every state. But their actual paid apprenticeship where you're going to be making that up to $20 an hour is only done in um, certain states. So I'm going to go to that so you can see what states are actually eligible for the paid training. So if you can see here, there's a map. It's find an arts to work near you. Remember, this is for the paid apprenticeship portion. They do have some other apprenticeship options, pre-apprenticeship options in other states that you can look at if you click that apply. But here right now, as you can see, they have California, Colorado, Florida, Georgia, Louisiana, Maryland, Montana, New York, North Carolina, Oregon, Pennsylvania, Texas, Washington State, Washington, D.C., and Wisconsin. So if you're in those states right now, you can actually go right in and apply for their apprenticeship program. For those of you who are not um, quite ready for that and maybe want some other information, you can scroll down. They have some really great videos about how they're coming to different areas, how they're working with different businesses and pre-apprenticeship programs. And those might be some of the programs that you're interested in. So if you're looking for the pre-apprenticeship program that might be available in multiple states, you'll scroll down and click here for those states that you want to get into see pathways to industries. They might have certifications that you can get into and all of that. They have some grant funded opportunities. Um, I'm from the Philadelphia area. I live in New Jersey right now. So um, I did not know the majority of how large this partnership was with WHYY um, and other registered apprenticeships. As I mentioned before, if there's a registered apprenticeship, we know that it's legitimate because registered means it is a part of the United States Department of Labor Registered Apprenticeship Program. So as I mentioned previously, the Registered Apprenticeship Program is a government at www.apprenticeship.gov. A registered apprenticeship is an industry-driven, high-quality pathway where employers can develop and prepare future workforce and individuals so you can obtain a paid work experience, receive a progressive wage, and for those of you who are looking to get your experience converted into college credit, by work experience, the apprenticeship program often offers after work experience a certain amount of college credit. So the apprenticeship program for those that are registered apprenticeships, if you meet the qualifications, every program has different qualifications. Some are like nine months, one year, some are 18 months, some are two years. So after that, they've worked with Department of Education. So once you're done an apprenticeship program, that can count for college credits. You'll get that credential or that apprenticeship. So industry-led programs, paid job, apprenticeships are jobs. Do not confuse this with an internship. A lot of time internships are lower paid or unpaid to kind of gain experience. Apprenticeships are paid jobs structured on the job learning and mentoring. So you're not just thrown in, you're learning on the job using some skills you have 
to increase your skill set, you can get an apprenticeship certification, supplemental education, online learning, or classroom learning. There's a diversity involved here with um, equity, inclusion, anti-harassment, quality and safety, and credentials. Apprentices earn a portable, nationally recognized credential within their industry. So if you finish an apprenticeship program, whether it's in healthcare or video editing, the Department of Labor will assign a U.S. Department of Labor apprenticeship certificate credential, and that credential can be certified to an employer, a job, or can be transferred to college credit. So even those of you who have a degree, you could take your college credit and add on to that from a registered apprenticeship. Remember, apprenticeships can be for someone who has a high school diploma or looking to get into a job and career and or looking for people at the next level that have a degree but don't have that much industry career experience. So keep that in mind. These are registered apprenticeships that they're listing. If a program says it's registered apprenticeship, that means they will be paying you for the training. So keep that arts to work in mind, everyone, in their apprentice program. You may be even ready to work there. Uh, maybe you have some industry experience and a degree and you want to work. Great, great organization. So for those of you who hung around, appreciate it. What about those jobs that are not in those states that I mentioned? Well, we're going to actually talk about those. Okay, so I'm at Google and you're probably like, why are you there? Well, I'm here because... I love Google. I know Google works um, owns YouTube and a lot of their skills and help tips are Google documents. And um, also searching on Google is the World Wide Web. So I figure if I go here and show you how I do a lot of my job search and find a lot of key information that it will help you as well in the meantime. So let's say you're looking for an apprenticeship and you're looking for one in video editing. So I would actually put in here Apprenticeship, video editing. And as you can see here, the very first thing that comes up is AI YouTube editor apprentice, video editing intern. So you might have to read into that. If it's an internship, it might be free work. Some internships are paid, but many of them are not. What we are looking for is an apprenticeship. And I'm going to just click here and see what we have. So experience in scaling your own or companies uh, creating or video editing. So they're looking for somebody who has that. Um, don't be boring, video editing, experience independent. So for those of you who've had your own channel, this could be something for you. AI experience is not required. You have 20 hours a week. So it's a part-time apprenticeship program. And it says... Um, a 30, 30K program, scale through creating a droll-worthy social media content that sparks innovative growth. Okay. So, and this is the article where women earn 17% less than men, which is why 30K program is specializing in helping people who identify as women earn $30,000 within 12 coaching sessions. So this is going to be one of those creative ways. I'm looking to see if this one actually talks about that, if the 30K is in their training, but I would have to look a little bit more into this particular program. And I actually did a video not too long ago on how women make less. Um, and it was a larger story online. I'll get into talking about that in a, um, probably in another video. Okay, so we also have a video editor. This one literally says unpaid in it, and we're not looking for that. So we are going to skip right along with that one. Let's see, paid editing apprenticeship. So I'm going to go to paid editing apprenticeship. And we have here, you know, videographer, video editing. This looks like a group here. And it just says two years of shooting or editing experience. Part-time content creator. So this is in my uh, local area, as you can see, lots of content creator jobs. Here's one in Cleveland, Ohio, three, six, 12-month paid apprenticeships. 
So you could go into a three month contract, six month or 12 month. So keep that in mind. There's tons of jobs in the area. Even if I take out, I'm just gonna put in USA and see what social media ones they have. Content creators, video specialists. And as you saw that third one, video editing apprenticeship. So there's many different things out here that you could find as far as apprenticeships, social media apprentice in Texas, marketing. So if a job is advertising that they're an apprentice or apprenticeship, um, it should be paid based on the Department of Labor or they're using the wrong wording. If they use internship, they're okay to get you that experience without paying you. But most apprenticeships will be a paid opportunity or they're not a technical apprenticeship. Those of you who might be fluent or speak another language, it could be another area of video content creation that you're missing out on. So keep that in mind when you're thinking about going into a, an apprenticeship opportunity with a job or a career. Here's another paid editing apprenticeship opportunities, video apprentice program. And then we have um, Sony picture images, apprenticeships image work. So maybe some of you are with that and imageworks.com job postings. So this is how to apply to their apprenticeships. They have multiple apprenticeships. They're looking for the best and brightest to join their program, to create a crew on an as needed basis. So you're training and learning, and then they'll um, take different individuals for this project. It is a paid position. So you're going to be earning while you're learning. This one in particular is going to be for those who have the degree, those graduates who have graduated. Maybe you don't have necessarily um, the traditional degree. Now, if you really want to focus on ones with no degree, you could go here and put um, no degree apprenticeship video editing, and you'll get ones that come up in tech that even have youth apprenticeships. I'll be talking about apprenticeships for those that are 16 to 24 in my next video. So if you want to see that, hang in here. That'll be my next video that I'll be posting. Microsoft is actually hiring in-demand videos. There's video editing and things that you can do there. There's a nonprofit video editing, become a video editor without a degree. So this is the biggest thing that we have going on right now. And this initiative is actually being placed by the Paper Ceiling. Paper Ceiling is a group and organization that believes in the actual idea behind STARS. And what is STARS? If you didn't see my first apprenticeship video, STARS is really being trained and having the skill labor force um, that does not have the bachelor's degree, but has the level of skill of the bachelor degree and beyond because of their labor force. So if you want to know more about that paper ceiling, you can go here through the Department of Labor and Workforce. Um, 70 million workers do not have that college degree, but many of you have STARS, the skill through alternative routes. You have experience, you have a YouTube channel, maybe you've created and edited, maybe you have careers and experience in another field, and you feel like because you don't have that piece of paper, you cannot advance. Well, opportunities with jobs that do career training and apprenticeships or through reading up on organizations like the Paper Ceiling, you can find more out about how those skills that you have attained can be turned into a paid apprenticeship, or that paid apprenticeship can be turned into a career, a job, contracts, or networking. My name is Carla from Teaching Trends, teaching you all about apprenticeship and opportunities. Please hang in there, you YouTubers. There are great opportunities out here for you. If you have any questions, please make sure you put them down in the comments for me. And until next time, everyone.